right, this is the uh, tango routine for Hernandez Hideaway and Jam Game. We will be teaching four moves, the basics, the promenade, the corte, and the pointy. First move is the basic. Now gentlemen, you'll want to have this hand at about the lady's eye level. You know she's taller than you. And as far as your other hand, you'll have it on her lower back. Not way up here, and not down here. This is no. for a high school production. Um, but yeah, and then ladies, this arm is going to be kind of where his muscle is. So, yeah. All right. For the basic, gentlemen, you will always start on your left foot. Ladies. Always on the right. Now the basic and any other move in tango is counted in five steps. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. If it helps you to remember it a different way, you can do T A N G O. So gentlemen, for the basic, you'll start on your left foot, going and forward. On the right, going backwards. Your first two steps will be going, first three steps will be going forward. And then the final two steps will be going for the gentleman towards your right. Left for women. So the basic will be slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Do that again. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Also for tango, make sure that you have long strides. We really can't because we've got the camera and we've only got so much space to use. So um, that's another thing to keep in mind. Yeah, tango just as long as you're very not doing this, but not doing this either. Yeah, tango is a very dry traveling game. Our instructors always tell us that if your foot's getting stepped on, it's your own fault. So that's mm -hmm. probably something to keep in mind. Um, the next move is promenade. It's Probably the most well known basic tango move. Yeah, when most people think tango, this is the first thing that comes to their mind. You do not face your partner at the beginning of this move, but you will end up facing your partner at the end. Now, gentlemen, you again will start with your left foot. Or your outside foot. Mm -hmm. For ladies, it'll be her, your right foot. So you'll take two steps forward. Slow, and now you'll take your inside foot, step forward, slow. Now at this point, gentlemen, you'll want to pivot the lady in front of you. So this is where your quick quick comes in. So this is also where it's critical for guys to have a good lead and for women not to do what's called back leading, where she tries to lead the dance. Um, guys will have to be very strong. Do not shove her. So yeah. just give her a little nudge on her back to let her know. Okay. Now, to pivot her in front of me, quick, quick, slow. So let's do that one more time. Here we go. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And that is prima. Also keep in mind that Luckily, you guys have a routine, but it's all important concepts, just the same, but yeah. Our next move is going to be a corte. Now, for corte, gentlemen, you will do what's referred to as a fake step. Instead of going forward all the time, you will take a fake step forward with your left foot. And then, to let the lady know that you are not going to continue going forward, you will take this hand and you will pull her towards you. So your first step will be slow. And now after this, you'll pull the lady towards you. And gentlemen, you will take your left foot that you step forward with and take a long step backwards. This will be your second slow. And, and then you're bend. kind of 
kneel into him, like so. And gentlemen, you will feel a slight pull in your leg. If you don't, then you're not doing it right. Now at this point, you're going to be pivoting, which is your quick, 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 quick. Now normally, if you were to do a single corte, you come together as P-A-N-D-O. For a double corte, you will do the same four steps at the beginning, Slow, slow, quick, quick, and now you will repeat that. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. All right, the next move is probably going to be the hardest. It's, we call it the pointy because we really don't know what it's actually called. But it's an extremely fun step once you get the hang of it. Uh -huh. It's actually probably our favorite step. So this move, you'll start out in prominence, or get into prominence position. You will do the same three steps the canonical prominence, and then that's where you change it up. So first three steps. Slow, slow. Actually, First two steps will be the same. At this point, gentlemen, you'll want to take your hand and pivot it so that your thumb is on top of the lady's hand and your fingers are below. Now at this point, you're going to want to, what's called, throwing out the lady. It's not very nice. So here's your quick, quick slow. It's actually the fun part. Quick, quick slow. Now at this point, you will take your inside foot and step towards each other. Slow. And now you take your outside foot and point it. And point it. Now you will take the foot that you pointed with and cross in front of your other foot and take your back foot and point. And then you'll do the hang and go close. Now this brings up another very important rule in ballroom. If you are in a position where you're not like this or in contact with your partner's body, like if you're in throw out, the arm not attached to your partner has to be out. No, no, this is just boring. No, and no dead arm. Does not work. No this. No, this, like this. It's very graceful and it's very pretty. That's what the judges will say. So um, those are the moves we will be learning. For our version, the first eight measures are going to be get to get into place for the scene change. That is going to be the very, I want to say, well-known Hernando's Hideaway melody, that's what I always think of it as. Once the, you can hear the change in the music, that's going to be when we start, and it's going to go all the way to the first vamp, about when the first set of people start singing. But we're going to play it for you, and show you the whole thing put together.